Good morning everybody! English farmer Sam here with El Pope. We're in the old Ford Ranger. We're gonna do some drawing of some lambs, which means weighing them, seeing if they're fit to, to go to slaughter. Uh, and then we're gonna actually um, we're gonna separate the ewes and lambs as well. Uh, so wean the wean the lambs and then give them a bit of a dose of a fly repellent, like a fly strike stuff, so they don't get maggots. Nice little bit of stock scenery. Nice dairy heifers. Actually, we just moved the load of heifers here that we're all going to be. They're all bullet heifers. I don't know what we've, um, what we've moved them into. So. Anyway, got my ear pods in. Play some classical music, make sure I remain calm at all times. I've got uh, my meals coming to help me do this once it's finished work. So I'd like to get a, I'd like to get a good bit of it done now and out of the way, you know, strong and healthy relationship and all. Right, let's get to it. Right, so I've got I brought the trailer here earlier. So oh nice. Guess that's why a string was invented. Uh, basically, we use the two, it's quite narrow there, we use the two sides of the fence to create like a pen, a bit of a race, and uh, run them through there. We'll only weigh the ones that look heavy enough. Um, yeah, right, let's get some hurdles out. Sit him on, pup. <sighs> lovely, 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 lovely. Puppy, come here now. Come here, come here. Shh, who's? Shh, go on. Shh, don't take me on. Who's? Right, we're filming. <laughs> filming. As you know, English farmer seems never as straightforward as you think. And the only thing I've come up with is they went on automatically, and I thought, well, they've gone on, they've gone on, so I'll keep them on there. I've got one lot, two lot. I'm going to weigh up, I think I've got all these big lambs and quickly grab whatever big lambs I've got in there weigh then run the few big lambs I've got on here off weigh and then split the older ewes where the cattle are because they'll call back in with the bag and leave the ewe lambs and the lambs here to be to, away from the ewes and then we'll take the ewes somewhere else that makes sense if you got that, brilliant let's get to it easy to buy, right, so we've got one on here Weighing about 43, I'd say, which is good, which is I'm chuffed with actually. We'll just give him a little feel. So we're going to feel over the loin, nice condition there, feel over the shoulder. You just want to, you know when you like, on, uh, I don't know, I don't know, January the 1st, you know, good Christmas, just your old rib and you go, uh, you go, uh, Oh, put on a bit of, bit of meat there. But that's basically what we're feeling for. We'll just give him, I know he's black, but we'll just give him a big black mark. Just so I know. I need to get him out. We'll let him out. Go on, Black Cross. What's key today is, you know, we've got these Dutch spots. And uh, well, I want to see how, and if they can fit in with a commercial pack. I mean, we're four weeks in. These early ones would have been born in January. No, would have been born in February. I don't know, like 20, 22nd, I think we started lambing. So that would have been the first one. So we want to see is, uh, what's it, July? Is that five months, is it? Five months. 
I want to see if we've finished them. It won't actually, just over four months if we're finishing lambs uh, um, with that Dutch spot ram. So, you know, we'll see what the end result is. So here we go, this is our Dutch spot, Dutch spot ram lamb, he just weighed and he was born on March the 19th, I know that because it's my birthday, he's a twin uh, and he is 35 kilos on the scales, he's not going to go anywhere near the, uh, he's not going to go anywhere near my meat counter, but uh, that's really impressive, uh, I'm really chuffed with that. So we're gonna to go to the Sayer at Carlisle in August. With that, I haven't got a name for him yet. That's today's job. But that's the mother. That's the mother for the Dutch pot of people out there. That's the mother. That's the top lamb. And we've got the ewe lamb to come. Right. So this is what, it's lucky that you here. So this is what I was just talking about. This is the ewe lamb. Pedigree ewe lamb out of Lock Lad Draco from the Lock Lad uh, flock up in Dumfries where I visited the other day. So she's 32, so he's two kilos heavier. But you'd expect that. You'd expect that because um, well, he's, he's, he's got two kilos of balls on him, I think. Pup. Pup, he's a big dog. <laughs> yeah, he's big, soft, soft. <coughs> well, is he one of the? He's not one of the uh, got bobs, is he? No, he's not. All oh, right, no. he hates bobs. <laughs> he likes to go and tell him what he thinks of a big dog. Oh, he ain't got his nose, is he? Oh, no, oh, good, no, well done. No, oh, well done. Well, Pup, just give it up. What are you gonna do if I let you in there with him, eh? Run range yeah, yeah, run, run straight back under the fence. <laughs> right, I got this one. This is another. This is the other. This is a ewe lamb out of. The other Dutch spot, she only had one. You can see why it's a lot bigger. Stick on there, get up on there. She's a lot bigger. I bet she's, look at that, she's 44. Shut it, you trollop. Uh, she's 44 kilo. She's a ewe lamb, she's not going anywhere. Look at that, that's the real deal. Some of these lambs are bloody exceptional, you know. You see the little black you in there, she's nearly as big as her mother. Proper job. <laughs> right, boys and girls. So this is a good one. This is a bit of a proof in the pudding type of lamb. 50 kilos. Would have been born late February, or the beginning of July. I know they're at commercial use, but still, I think this Dutch spot ram has done a good job in, 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 in showing and proving that I think I could use my Dutch spots with these commercial as a commercial product. <coughs> I've just got the Crovex, which is the fly spray. Oh well. One or the other. I think this is Click. This is Crovex. I don't know if there's a problem with it being mixed. But we'll work it out. All oh, right, one's pink and one's right. We're gonna have to reconsider this. Push, push, push! Ha, ha! Don't piss around. Right. Good, got them all. 
Right, so I've just I've used the last bit of crow vector. And I've worked out the dotage and we're basically we want one and a half for the use, one for the lamps. So we go down, up the sides, done. Down, up the sides, done. Lambs. Right, so we finished loading them. I've got 99.9% of the used new lambs or gimmers on this trailer. There was one that I couldn't fit. It's a tight fit, but we've done it. Pepe, how'd you get on Pepe, where are you? And Pepe nailed the job. We should be creating here now. And yeah, there's one new lamb left with this lot. Right, this is the new ends. Chain and lock, <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, I gotta bring them some water. But apart from that, we're all good. Pup slubs coming in, so you can find some of that. Fantastic swinging gate. <laughs> right. Right, I hope you like what you saw today. So we pulled the ewes from the lambs. Uh, we've weighed some lambs. We've got two fit and about five that were on the borderline to be there. And then we had a couple of heavy ewe lambs. And then you saw the pedigree stock was going to go to the car last sale in August, which is nice. So we'll get the paperwork done for that later on today. Um, yeah, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, it's been English Farmer Sam and Le Pepe. Right, load up, pup. Yep. Catch you later.